Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Yes, it's me again, Mike Butcher from TechCrunch. How are you? Um, Alex Young from SoundCloud. Yes, sir. Um, we haven't seen each other in ages, have it's we? Probably four or five years. No, it can't be that you, long. You, no, not, not quite as long, long as that. But You're um, still the rock star, though, with the I leather know, jacket know, showing up know, late. I'm sorry, so it's but like, you still got it. Well, you've got a jacket. That is true. Hanging. That's on so the wall. This guy pitched at a, a TechCrunch meetup, which I ran in London in 2007 or eight. Yep. Seven yeah. or eight. Yep. And he got up He got up on stage, and he all he did was he held a microphone to his phone, a microphone to his phone, and just said, "This is SoundCloud." Boom. And the thing just went exploded with music, <laughs> with one minute. I said, thank you, I'm Alex Young, goodbye, and walked off. And everyone was like, mic drop, <laughs> what the hell was that? And he had a very famous leather jacket, which he used to wear, wore, wear everywhere. Yep. So which I didn't steal apart. the idea at all. <laughs> <clears throat> well, you should bring yours over, and we'll get the laser cut stencil out, and I'll spray paint a SoundCloud logo on the back of it, just like the original one. That would be great, except I'm, I'm sorry, but nobody touches the jacket. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, I, there's no counter up here, so someone's going to have to wave at me for five minutes or something. Um, Alex, right. Yes. Are yes. you ready? I am ready. Let's go. How do you feel? You've just sacked half of Berlin. No, come on. I'm yeah. kidding around. No, no, no. no. It's, fa it's fair, but I am not going to laugh about it. No, um, no, that's fair enough. I'm, I'm sorry. Not it's not a joke. It, it is. It's, and I want to, you know, start off with that. It's, it's. We've had to, I've had to lay off 173 people uh, from our team. 40% um, of SoundCloud. Yeah. Uh, these are incredible people, incredibly talented people, um, who. You know, I have no doubt we'll be able to, to get new jobs, but it's incredibly sad and obviously very impactful uh, yeah. for them. 173 people who have lost their jobs. Um, so it's a very, very sad time, especially uh, for them. And we're very focused on trying to do what we can to support that. Uh, w you know, we've had in the sadness has also been a tremendous amount of, of inspiring and strong conversations with people and I, I think a lot of people here has al have also seen the amount of support coming from the community um, not you know not even from SoundCloud centrally but from the from the actual community and I think it's been really really phenomenal um, I hope everybody here has seen the the Google Doc that David Noel started and that the community has really contributed to was that now just let me just ask you about that was that yep. a f an official document no no, this is from the community. This is no like, no. It was uh, the people themselves. This yes. So they yeah. put their their names in there, and this is this is really showing the strength of the SoundCloud community. Yeah. The the creation of this document and the amount of, of traction around that has been uh, just uh, insane, and and it makes a lot of sense because the companies all over the world now know that there are 173 incredibly gifted, talented people mm. uh, out there, uh, and there's been quite the quite the storm um, around that. Yeah. So um, your blog post was leaked onto Bloomberg just before it went up. Um, that was, must have been a bit of su surprise, perhaps? Yep. How did you feel? When, uh, at that moment, I wasn't very concerned about Bloomberg or, or our, our blog post, to be honest. Yeah. Um, at, that, at that moment, um, I had to tell a, the, a company that was very surprised with the news that 173 uh, mm. people would be let go. Yeah. Um, it's obviously a very difficult time. Um, however, I mean, there are some questions. Uh, there is a suggestion that SoundCloud was still hiring people two weeks before the announcement. Would you care to comment on that? Uh, we, so, part this, this is part of a, slight shift of strategy that we have made. We were hiring people up until we shifted strategy. Yeah. After we've done that, we have not been hiring people. However, 
remember, like, you know, we operate in many different countries. Um, and in some countries, you hire people, and it takes quite a long time before they actually show up at the company. Uh -huh. So uh, some people, the very you know, sad cases where people have been hired uh, earlier, and then, you know, it's been quite a long time before this, and then they still, um, still get impacted by this. But you've also, you know, you've got, you've got issues. You've got issues. Let, let's be brutally honest, right? Let, you know, you've got, uh, you turned over 21 million uh, euros in revenue in 2015. That was up, but unfortunately, your operating losses have widened to 48 million. Um, your net losses have accelerated 30% to, to uh, 51 million. Um, so your operating losses are more than double the size of your revenue. You've now cut down the uh, London and San Francisco office. You've, um, you're doubling down on your subscription uh, model. You've still got a big gap before you hit any level of traction and bigger profitability. What's going to happen? Well, I, okay, so I would put all of that in a little bit of context. So first off, like, it's a very sad event to let go of these people. But yeah. if we zoom out of that and look at like where is SoundCloud, the totality, the entire company at right now, I think people are, are, are missing a couple of, of key points. Um, mm -hmm. One is that over the last 10 years, we've gone from non-existence to being one of the largest, on some metric, the absolute largest uh, music platform uh, in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, more creators than any other platform out there. Um, and, you know, even just yesterday, we're the 20th most downloaded app of all apps in the US App Store. So that's pretty good in terms mm. of new users coming in. So we have a tremendous so amount. So you've still got user traction. People still We've using SoundCloud, downloading it. Getting on the platform, we are seeing we have in, we have an enormous user base. We have very good growth on that user base, and we have very good growth on engagement of that user base as right. well. So um, we're twentieth most downloaded app of all free apps uh, in the U.S. App Store yesterday. Um, so we've got a lot of users coming coming into the platform. The platform is still growing phenomenally. Uh, creators, we blow everybody else out of the water. You know, we have 12 million creators heard every month. Most of the services struggle to even get to a million creators total. Mm. And that is still growing. The amount of tracks is still growing. So everything in terms of the business and, uh, um, user and creator metrics are growing and doing, and doing really well. And as you already know, like if the, what we managed to do as well was, because we have a very different platform than the other platforms out there. We managed to get the licenses around this, and we've launched several revenue streams around this. We have advertising revenue, we have subscription through mid-tier, uh, mm. through SoundCloud Go and SoundCloud Go Plus, mm. uh, and those revenues are growing incredibly fast. Could we you, did announce could you that... Not have, sorry, no, I mean could you not have seen this happening earlier, though? We were on a strategy of saying we are going to grow our way into this, and now we have shifted that, and we have said instead, we are at this point where the revenues, users and revenues are growing incredibly fast. We doubled our revenues in the last, uh, in the last 12 months. So that is going up, but we said now is a time where we have to take more control over our situation. So what we're doing is laying off 173 people, 40% of the company, which will mean a significant reduction in costs for the business. Mm. The consolidation of the offices that you, you mentioned as well, we're consolidating to Berlin and New York. Yeah. So we're in a position where creators and users are growing very rapidly. Uh, revenues doubling over the, next, uh, over the previous 12 months continues to grow very rapidly. And now we've, we are in the process of reducing our cost basis significantly. And that, the reason for all of this, which I also wrote in the blog post, oh. is we're taking more control of our own future and our own path to profitability and ensuring our independence as SoundCloud. But you've yet to kick in all of those music licenses that would end up hitting your bottom line as well, no? No, we have like we have we have, we have licenses with pretty much the entire music industry, um, and very supportive these days from the entire music industry, mm. and monetizing content for more creators than, than anybody else. I mean, the cool thing on SoundCloud, right, is you have 
we're doing a lot for the established industries, but these days also, you have the emerging talent on SoundCloud that we've always been the strongest at. They are enabled to come onto the platform and also not just interact and build audience, but start monetizing their content. So you're seeing oh. you know, people like Chance the Rappers and others who are like directly on SoundCloud being able to monetize and also you get revenue. You don't have any support from the entire music industry because there are rumors that uh, Spotify has walked away from an acquisition deal. Uh, Deezer might be circling. Uh, that Google has gone cold. How do you um, how do you react to those rumors and those that speculation? We are building a strong independent SoundCloud, which is a completely unique music platform in the world. You can find artists and content on SoundCloud that don't exist on any other platform out there. You will find the artists on SoundCloud today who are unknown that will be the next ones accepting the awards for the Grammys in the years, uh, in the years to come. Yeah. That's a tremendous, it's a tremendous platform, both in terms of its, its, its financial value, but also of its cultural impact. Um, and that is something that is gonna stay strong and independent. So you, you didn't uh, have an acquisition offer from Spotify then? I'm just saying that SoundCloud is an incredibly unique independent platform. Uh, let's reel the other ones off. Google? I'm just saying. <laughs> so Mike, Twitter. let me tell you this. But how, how awesome is it? Just think about this. Nobody knew who Chance so the Rapper passionate. was a few years ago. I know. And he starts uploading stuff to SoundCloud. And this year, he wins a Grammy for Best Rap Album and says, thank you, Mum, Dad, SoundCloud. How fucking cool is that? we have got to give it to you. We've got we've got, we've got to hand it to you. It's, it's, it's tough out there in the entrepreneurship jungle. No, and the music, the music landscape is tough. We all know that. The world of music streaming is a, it, it, it is a tough can industry. I, can, I, can I ask you a really, uh, just a frank question? Can I ask you one? No, okay, yes, go ahead. I thought this was going to be a conversation. It is a conversation. <laughs> I would, uh, what I'd like to know is, you know, you, were, you really had, you could have had the music industry by the absolute, I apologize for this phrase, by the balls, effectively. Uh, you could have really, really gone for it, by the neck, shall we say. Um, you could have created an entirely new transformative model where you could have allowed artists to publish themselves get rid of the record companies, disrupt the music industry completely. It must have been tempting to do that. Why didn't you do it? Look, here's, here's the truth. Some artists get tremendous support from established players in the music industry, and some artists do it entirely themselves. Mm. SoundCloud is a platform for all artists, so we cater to that entire spectrum. Chance the Rapper is an example of somebody who does it all himself. He's one of the biggest in the world and he, he does it himself. So he can do that on SoundCloud and that works really well. We have a direct relationship with him. Other artists get support and they get good support from great labels, great managers, great companies out there. He wants to work there. with the music industry and not against it. Yes, we like, here's the thing. What we, what we like is, is artist choice and artist control. If an artist, wants to work with other companies, then we support that as well. Right. Um, so I think the, 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 what's happened, it's not about one or the other, is that what has emerged over the last 10 years that is incredibly exciting is that there are options. You don't have to go the major label route. For some, that is absolutely the way to do it, but for some others, they take a different route. Mm. And I think, you know, through the, through the massive democratization of the tools for creating music and through platforms like SoundCloud, or actually platforms SoundCloud, period, that allow any of these creators to share that stuff with the world, it, it's, created, it's created options for artists to be able to do it themselves mm. if that's how they want to do it. Right, okay, we all know what's happened. Uh, it's obviously been a tough time. Uh, things on some things, yes, and on others, no. Like, I mean, you look at, like, it's not that tough to be the 20th most downloaded app in the world. That's mm. pretty okay. That's, that's, that's pretty good, yeah. obviously. But where do, you, where, where do we go from here? Are you 
doubling down on subscription revenues. What have you got? Other products in the pipeline? And different kind of strategy? What, could you give us a, a glimpse or a hint? Look, we are incredibly strong with creators. We always have been um, stronger than anybody else. Nobody gets close to us on that. Uh, that is going to continue to be a focus for us, and it's going to be something that we, we focus more on. We are also one of the largest listener platforms in the world, uh, growing very fast, and we will continue to focus on that as well. Um, revenue growth is growing very fast, and we will continue to focus on that. What I can say for the future, what people should be looking for is that we are going to be doing less things that other people are doing, and we're going to be doing more things that are completely unique to what SoundCloud can do because of the creators and the content, and the way artists interact directly with fans. Um, we're going to looking at, be looking at what more stuff we can do in that area. So you're, ex you're expanding that, that artist-driven area. Creators is a key Creator piece driven. of, of, of you know, what we are and what the, the future is about. Um, and where do you think the log jams are in the music industry in particular? You know, you're hugely exposed to it. Um, you, you know, you, you must have to you know, deal with these people all the time. Do you, do you, what are some of the, the f things that you feel that it really should start addressing? The biggest issues? The music industry? Um, I think one thing to remember is that, that right now there are, there are some very, very good things uh, happening in the music industry. We, we finally hit a point where music streaming and revenue around it is growing very quickly. Um, so it's actually these days within the music industry and also kind of from a financial analyst perspective looking at the, the industry, there's a lot of excitement because the, 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 the total market is growing again. We're back to days where, where it is growing and it's projected to grow into, um, in, in, into sizes that it sort of had in the past where people were, were very excited. So, 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 so the market around music streaming in particular is in a very good, uh, very good place. So that's, that's good. Um, there's still, and, and outside of that, you still have a world where most people aren't streaming music like we you know we're technologists we think everybody does it but it but it's it's still early days of the world of streaming so there's a tremendous amount of growth happening uh, in that world so that that change isn't isn't going away at all that's done no. that's that's here to stay now a hundred percent yeah yeah what we'll see and that's I mean, in your favor yes yes absolutely the the i mean what we'll see this is this is probably you know incredibly obvious to everybody in this room but it is that Right now, people still listen to music in many, many different ways. You know, streaming, downloads, offline, like radio, all different kind of things. But eventually, like all of this, apart from some specialist things, vinyl and others, the, the, the vast bulk of all of this moves to streaming over the next 10, 20 years. Um, and that benefits you know, everybody who has one of the more dominant platforms. With so the if, you're, well, if you're in favor of streaming, then I assume you would agree with me that Spotify is knocking it out of the park right now. They're doing very well. And, and what do you think of Apple Music? I think they're doing okay as well. Okay. I, I think you have to ask them. I think the, 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 the truth is you zoom out and again, like the, the perspective on, on the industry as a whole is that, that streaming is really picking up speed and really hitting at a scale that is, is meaningful and interesting. Like the, the, the major, and not major labels, but the big companies around the music are seeing very, very meaningful revenue come out of, of streaming. That's mm. becoming a, the big part of their, their business. Um, and within that, there are, there are several companies, platforms that are doing very well by offering consumers the option to stream all the music in the world for 9.99. Mm. Um, it, it is, so for, from a consumer perspective, it's great. And I think, you know, from, from a music industry perspective, it's great. For a lot of those companies, it's quite challenging, though, because yeah. you look at it, like, many of them have pretty much the same offering. It's 9.99 for a bunch of tracks. Right. Um, but we can't all end up paying 9.99 for all of these different services, surely. A lot of people will. Surely but there's got to be some consolidation. 
It depends. I mean, right now, there, 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 there isn't among them. You have several large platforms that, that have said, you know, music is one of the most important things in the world, period. It drives more engagement than many other things, so a lot of people want to be involved in music. If you're a large tech platform looking at mass, large user bases with, uh, and want a lot of engagement, music will, pe will be a piece of your of, of Why your do thinking. you think Google hasn't? But well, amongst them, what is, what, is, what is tough for a lot of those platforms right now is that they're all competing with very much the same, very, a very similar offering for the new subscribers coming into the market. Um, so it's, it's very, very hard, very, very tough competition amongst all these this platforms saying, okay, who, who gets this new 999 why subscriber? Do you, why do you think Google hasn't made a significant move? Um, I suppose they, uh, you know, YouTube to some extent is there almost their music play, but it's not really, is it? Why do you think they haven't made a significant move? And, and by the way, are you talking to them? You'll have to ask Google about what their strategy is, but what I, what I can say is like, as these companies are competing, you know, to try and grab like a user into either like tech, tech plat platform A, B, or C, the great thing with SoundCloud that people don't really understand is that like, a lot of the users, no matter if they're using tech platform A, B, C, or D, they're using SoundCloud as well. Because mm -hmm. SoundCloud is actually the one music platform out there where you can get something that the others don't have, mm. which is a lot of artists that don't exist anywhere else, tons of content that you can't get on any of these other platforms, and you can actually get to interact directly with the artists. They're actually there. They're there showing their personality, uploading tracks that are aren't necessarily on the next album. It's what they just so why thought do you, of. Why can't these big companies get it then? <laughs> <You're v> <laughs> Come on. What are, they, what are they waiting for? In which sense? I've told well, you, I'm, to, I'm building. To call you. <laughs> I'm building a strong, independent company that is incredibly exactly. important for culture and for music. So you're going to stay independent for, for uh, as long as you can for the moment. Um, is it true that you're trying to raise $250 million? Look, we are raising a round of financing at this point. Um, but that's not as interesting as the music on the platform. I thought you'd say that. Right. You've been a absolute fantastic, you know, obviously you've had, there's been some uh, ups and downs, but you've been a huge uh, advocate of the Berlin technology scene. I remember meeting you guys back in the day. I think we got thrown out of the office by the police. <laughs> um, I'm sure we did. Some party on a roof somewhere. Um, for very legal, dangerous. If for I legal remember. reasons, I cannot comment on that. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> well, I have photographs, so I can prove it. Um, but... Uh, you, uh, you've been a huge champion of the Berlin tech scene and obviously seen it grow. Yeah. Um, do you think it still has the special source to produce uh, amazing companies? I think Berlin is, in, it, Berlin is unique, period. Um, it's more vibrant than it ever has been. Um, I think there are more, more companies here than there ha has been in a long time. It, it's an incredibly, incredibly exciting place, um, not just for technology, I mean for culture and for arts as well, but, but also for technology. Um, and, you know, as most things that get an initial hype, you know, the hype will, will, will die down without there necessarily being anything, uh, any, any reality behind it. Mm. So, I think the Berlin like most, scene... That's that mo most tech ecosystem is... Ecosystems. It's the curve. I don't forget what it's called, but it's like, yeah. you know, it's the curve. So, but in Berlin, there's still... So, so there's, there's a lot of great people moving to Berlin. A lot of people with very big, bold ideas, starting companies here. A very good, it, like, ecosystem. It, it's, still, it's still lacking elements. Like, if you look comparatively to other markets, like, the amount of local funding available for these companies is... is is way lower than London or, or, or the US. So it, people are, are, have, there's great people here with very ambitious plans doing great things, but they, it's a little bit, they're kind of like have one, hind, one arm behind, behind their back because they do not have the same local um, financing options. But you it know. It has improved, I suppose, oh, yeah. to some extent. 
Oh, it's, imp it's improved, and what has also improved is, you know, a as Berlin kind of got on the map on the, 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 within the tech world, uh, non-local funding has increased massively here as well, right? And, uh, you, know, you know, I talk to, to um, uh, friends or investors all, all over the world, they're all looking a lot to, to, to Berlin. So, so that has helped. There's still not comparatively as much uh, local funding. I think what's happened, though, there's also there's, there's been more of a boom of kind of, you know, deep tech uh, in, in Berlin and... I think it's it's a very interesting you time. Guys, I think uh, Europe Europe overall actually mm. is hitting a pretty in, a pretty interesting time right now. I mean, I think Europe is is understanding that we are not the U.S. and that is good. The U.S. is the U.S. and we are Europe and we have different uh, advantages. It, it, it is it's it's. And it's not as obvious that, oh, you, the U.S. is leading everything. I think that's true on an economic or political or broad level at the moment. And, but what I've started seeing more in, 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 in Europe as well, especially maybe amongst like later stage companies, companies that are hitting a bit bigger scale, is like I'm seeing much more founders saying, we're a European company. Like, we're staying in yeah. Europe. Like, this is our home. This is where we're building our iconic internet platform from. Yeah. You've got an iconic internet platform. Yes. Um, but there have been iconic internet platforms. Uh, Napster, MySpace, went by the wayside. How, are you, how do you think you're going to not become one of those? Like, look, I think it, it, it's, 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 it's a totally unfair uh, comparison. The, the, the scale of SoundCloud is, is tremendous. The ingrainedness in culture overall is, is very substantial. You look at the new artists coming out, new genres coming out, new trends, not just across music actually, mm. but across other trends as well. A lot of that gets started on SoundCloud, the platform. Mm. So in terms of its, like, its relevance and significance on, on a cultural level, it's tremendous. And then right now, we're also building up the, the, uh, the economic engine around that as well with, as I mentioned, more than 2x revenue growth over the last 12 months. We've had to go through something very, very painful now, and I mean that in that it is most painful for the people impacted. Um, but the result of that, to be honest, is also that we're going to have a, a smaller cost basis uh, yeah. and much more control and how are you doing? this platform. How are you doing? Honestly, I'm a little tired. <laughs> Are you, are you still hungry? You still I'm ready? very hungry. Look, like I told you, how cool is it that nobody knew who Chance the Rapper was a few years ago? He starts on the platform, and then he's on the Grammy stage winning Best Rap Album, mm. saying thank you to SoundCloud. How fucking cool is that? I think, ladies and gentlemen, that we've still got a very hungry entrepreneur here, and I know that Eric uh, has obviously, obviously been on the journey with you. I'd love, I would love to talk to you more, but I'm afraid we're out of time. Um, but thank you very much for being frank and uh, uh, coming and talking to us today. And I think we sh should give Alex a big round of applause. Thank you, Mike. Thank you.